All right, we're going to go ahead and perform the indicated operation and simplify. So we'll focus, uh, by the way, the operation is division. Just in case you didn't know, that fraction line meant division. So what we're going to need to do is focus on each of these terms separately. In fact, we could rewrite it, and maybe that would look just a little bit better for you. Something like this. So uh, before we can reciprocate the denominator in this fraction, what we're going to have to do is make it one fraction instead of a fraction added to an x. So to do that, what we need is common denominators. So what we're going to need to do to the x there is uh, divided by, have it divided by x plus 3. So we'll need to multiply the numerator also by an x plus 3. Now that we have a common denominator, we can rewrite this expression. And there we go. Now we could flip this and then multiply, uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward with just working inside the parentheses and distributing the x right here. So that gives us this new expression. Notice that we haven't changed anything on the fraction to the left. And then I'm just going to combine this x with these three x's. And now that we have this one fraction here on the right, it can't be simplified any further, I'm going to go ahead and flip it or reciprocate it. So after reciprocating it, some of you notice that we can cancel out this x plus 3's in both the numerator and denominator. But not only that, I can also factor out an x from x squared plus 4x, which, yes, will allow me to cancel that x. Let's take a look. So there's our new expression after factoring this x squared plus 4x. And, yes, we can go ahead and cancel out both x's which leaves us with that x plus 4 in the denominator. Now, since there's nothing there in the numerator anymore, everything's been canceled out, uh, we could put a phantom 1 there, and that would remain after the x's were canceled. And that's actually our final simplified answer.